This video explains how and why different types of betweenness centrality can be calculated, and includes exercises to practice this. The video also discusses an important assumption. Centrality is a common measure in network analysis, but it's often poorly understood. A popular centrality measurement is the betweenness centrality. This centrality attempts to capture the role of nodes as a bridge between other groups of nodes. To determine the betweenness centrality, we must first calculate all pairs of nodes of a network. What are all pairs in this undirected network? In an undirected network, a path from A to B is the same as a path from B to A. To avoid double counting, we can delete half of the pairs. Now we have a list with unique pairs of nodes. In a formula it looks like this. Betweenness centrality uses the geodesic distance or shortest paths between all pairs of nodes in a network to calculate the bridgeness. The shortest path between two nodes goes through the fewest links. Now we can calculate the betweenness centrality. The shortest path between A and D is a walk through node C. So, this shortest path only contains node C, which we annotate in the table. The sum of column C counts the number of times the shortest paths pass through C. For most centrality measurements, important means popular. Between this centrality captures a very different kind of importance, individuals controlling the flow around a network. They are also the ones whose removal from the network will disrupt interactions the most. The same networks, but the centrality is now indicated by size and color. These are two visualization techniques to draw attention to which node is important. In this network C is the most important node. If we want to compare networks of different sizes, we have to normalize the betweenness centrality score. Otherwise, larger networks give higher maximum scores. We do this by dividing the betweenness score by the number of pairs of nodes not including. Since undirected networks are symmetric, we have to divide these by 2. This rescales all scores in the range of 0 to 1. Now networks have the same scale and can be compared. An exercise. Pause the video and calculate the betweenness centrality of this undirected network. First, it is noticeable that you can skip all paths between two neighbor nodes, because they have no intermediate node. Second, it is noticeable that there are two shortest paths between A and C. Betweenness centrality assumes a random probability of a path, so you have to divide by the number of possible shortest paths, in this case 2. An important thing to keep in mind is that betweenness centrality is based on the shortest path and ignores other paths between nodes. In real life this is more complicated, and the chosen path is not always the shortest. There are also variations on the betweenness centrality. Some relax the assumption by considering all possible paths. In practice, most use cases are directed networks, fortunately we can also calculate the betweenness centrality for these networks. Since this network is not symmetrical, there are a few minor differences. You can calculate betweenness centrality with weighted networks as well. Now not all distances between nodes are the same. Instead of the shortest path we now take the minimal weighted path. 
A major advantage of betweenness is that the position of a node is related to the whole network by a different kind of importance compared to other centralities, the flow perspective. In real life, a flow doesn't always take the shortest path. Calculating of the betweenness centrality can take a lot of time in a huge network. Several solutions have been proposed to reduce the computation time, mainly by approximating the betweenness. Also, this centrality should be used with care, a bridge can also be on the periphery of the network and this centrality is also sensitive to changes in the network. In this video we saw how to calculate between this centrality. An important assumption, is that a flow in a network occurs along the shortest path. This centrality measures another, and in most cases interesting property of nodes in a network. This may be why it is a popular centrality.